I'm now delighted to introduce um, Mike Griffiths um, as our next speaker. Mike is the new president of the ASCL, the Association of School and College Leaders, um, and will return to his job as head teacher of Northampton School for Boys, a teaching school, next year. He began his career 38 years ago as a science teacher in Wolverhampton and is now on his second headship after a wide range of career that included initial teacher training at Sheffield Poly, a stint as an LEA advisor in Sefton and work as an Ofsted, Ofsted inspector. Thank you. Just quickly, my, the theme for my presidential year, because we all have to have one, is um, positive leadership. And uh, it's a bit of a tricky at times. And so I'm going to try and be positive now about what I think is the the best job in the world, that of being a teacher and indeed of being a school leader. On entry to the profession, yes, we need more good degrees, um, but we must identify the people who are actually most suited to doing the job as well. During my career, we must make sure that there is an entitlement for me and also a requirement of me to improve my knowledge and skills. And the older members of the audience might remember the James report from when I, the year I started teaching in 1970 something or other, uh, which recommended that teachers should have one term sabbatical every five years. Um, that didn't happen. Um, so, what of my professional status then? Um, for me to be called a professional, which is what we're talking about, I must, I think, act as a professional. And what does that mean? I must look professional. My solicitor doesn't wear jeans and jumpers. Um, perhaps my job description should actually describe what I do do rather than the current nonsense of defining what I don't do. Um, and perhaps I should accept as a professional that the time to do the job is indeed the time to do the job. And if I always put the needs of youngsters first as a professional, perhaps that means that there should be no industrial action. I should also, as a professional, be celebrating my job because my job is, I believe, a privilege to have the nation's future entrusted to my care and not to moan about the minutiae. And perhaps I should be demanding a Royal College of Educators to promote my profession and regulate our own professional standards. But I have high expectations of government too. I have to get in there somewhere. Because they must be positive about schools, about children, and about me as a teacher, and stop the negative messaging that corrodes public faith in my school, and indeed pupil confidence in their teachers. They must stop confusing democratic legitimacy with professional wisdom. In other words, votes do not make you an expert. You never tell a surgeon how to do her job, so stop telling me how to do mine. Stop believing in government that because you went to school, you are an expert on pedagogy. <laughs> Allow us, the professionals, to develop a curriculum that enables all children to fulfil their potential, not what yours was. And consult us, but please then listen to us. Promote teaching as a noble calling, please, government. Applaud, please those who serve in some of the most challenging of our communities. And finally, can you please scrap those rose-tinted rear-view mirror that reflects an illusory bygone golden age of education. Today is the golden age. Today is the era of the highest achievement in schools. And today we have the best teachers and the best schools we've ever had. Tomorrow, will be even better. Thank you for that, please, government, and you will, at a stroke, raise the status of the profession in the eyes of the whole nation. Thank you.